black. Kind of weird. Should be fun. This camp beige wins the tip, and it's the aces in control. Jackie Young. Now with Camp Beige in the lineup, he's picking up the officials, Kurt Walker, Tim Green, and Gilpin. Quote, she knows her role. She knows her role this year. She's comfortable in that. No more pressure coming in as the number one pick this season. But that's one of the things that's hard for especially rookies adjusting to roles. He's very good at establishing that. He did that here in New York as well with each of his players. One is the all-time leading scorer in NCAA women's history. It, it really does. I mean, she's somebody that it is like kind of pulling teeth to get her to shoot and not not on the weak side. When it comes to Sydney Colson, she kicks out to Tamara Young. No good. Rebound. Snagged down by McBride, and she lays it up and in. Tanisha Wright adding stability to the floor when she's on her defensive end. Another turnover, though. Five for the Liberty as McBride takes it strong to the hole, gets her own board, lays it up with the left end. Liberty, it's a Star Wars reference. Yeah, I didn't catch that. I'm not a Star Wars person. I, I, don't, I never watched Star Wars. I don't know why. Hale McBride is <laughs> having a hard time with that word. <laughs> McBride tries to get the ace of the board. Jack at the rebound, but it comes out to Tamara Young, and her bunny is short, but right there, Hale McBride tracks it down, quickly gets it up to nurse for three, no good. Kayla McBride will push down for the aces. She has Young on the wing, goes up and in after that offensive set. Between her and Hartley, two vets. And speaking of a vet, you can see Asia Durr, but she has that elbow shot that she can hit that in her sleep like Durr as Young. Some contributions from people today. 7-0 run for the Libs, and it's answered there. Runs today has been tremendous. Will the Liberty take that as she connects? Full game coverage starting at 6 presented by Verizon. As McBride hits both.